Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, CTO at DVS, and today we're going to take a look at some fantastic new technology that complements all of the other great technology that we do. So the two new cameras that I've had some massive feedback on and I've had some actual strong requests for is the new internal 180 degree turret. So four megapixel, 180 degree turret. So that's internal only. The new external grade 180 degree bullet camera. So there's the part number for those of you that want it. Fantastic piece of equipment. Let's use my special box opening tool. Always carry that this time of year. We can see we can crowbar the hell out of this. Rip off the security seal. So inside the box, what do we get? So firstly, the bullet camera. So all importantly, we get the uh, RJ45 rubber gasket or weatherproof, weatherproof seal with rubber gasket. Make sure you always fit that if you're fitting the camera externally. You don't know how many problems that causes. We have the nice little mini 180 degree bullet camera. Nice little size, standard bracket, security screws, 12 volt DC or PoE network connection. Nice curved lens, built in IR. We're gonna go and fit that outside. Look at the car park. It's nice and dark outside because uh, I don't stop. So we'll see what that looks like. Some nice little design. Um, micro SD card and reset button, QR code, etc. all underneath. Actually, really nice design. Next one, let's crowbar this one open. It's like Home Alone. I don't even know why I'm using it. I just wanted to really get it in a video this time of year, so. Don't forget, internal fitment. So turret camera, internal. So it's like the uh, standard turret uh, alloy design. Um, there's the front lens camera. It says up on there for those of you that can't read. Up means that way. So you can take the cover cap off. I'm not very good at taking these collars off, to be honest. I don't know whether it's, I'm too strong. Of course it is, of course, I'm just too strong. There we go, twist and turn. So you can see there, the locking mechanism. Undo that. Now, with my superior strength, I don't want to damage this. So again, once you've loosened that, you can see there's some loose adjustment on that. So point it, turn it. Lock it in, collar back on, job's done. Again, internal, not IP rated. Do not fit that outside if you want to retain an RMA. Okay, great. So, I'm gonna go fit the bullet outside and we'll come back for a review video on the second part. Peace out. Okay, and welcome back. So I fitted the bullet outside. It's very, very cold down here in South Wales, hence the DVS bobble hat. But we continue. So we're gonna quickly log in. I've activated the camera and set the required IP address. You guys are professionals. You didn't need to see me do that. Quickly web browse into it. So you can see here, it's above our main entrance. So that's our car park. There is external lighting in the car park. Um, sodium lighting, but it's a good image and you know, considering this orange glow. It's a 180 degree image. I could move it slightly if I felt the need to, but I'm happy with that view, it covers a large area. What you have to remember when you look at this is it's a four megapixel image over 180 degrees. So you're not gonna get great detail at great distance. It's more general observation. As you can see, it's fantastic for that. If I use the digital zoom to show my point there, so that vehicle is around 20 meters away. Zoom in on that. You can just about make the plate out, but not that fantastically again four megapixel fixed lens uh built in infrared ip67 rated um but again general observation more than anything the new web browser uh if you've ever if you've not seen it and the internet explorer you've got the ptz actions there so any camera that supports ptz um actions you can do directly from there like you always have been able to we've also added the general tab and that allows you to adjust some of the settings directly from the web browser on the front menu while still viewing the image to see if it makes any difference. Me, I'm old school. I like to go into configuration and do it there. What you'll see is that's the model number of the camera for those of you that are interested. And we've added some tweaks in 5.6 onwards. There's some tweaks so metadata can be turned on for smart events. Uh, you've got multicast in there, advanced settings. HTTP listening integration protocols, platform access, all of the functionality you've come to love within the camera. We set it up for four megapixel H265, 25 frames a second, um, exactly what we need it to be. And the image settings are default out of the box, but you can adjust them as necessary. Uh, all of the standard functions you could adjust. 
I'm forced it into day mode. There's light in here all night, so I'm happy for it to be in day mode. If I wanted it to be in infrared mode, I'd have to set it to auto and then turn the lights off to show you that performance. For those of you that are interested, this is the specification of the camera. It's a 1.6mm ultra wide angle lens, 120mm, 120dB WDR, IP67. As we scroll through, you can see there. Horizontal 180, diagonal 180, vertical 101, 20mm IR range, 850nm, support something on yes, so you get all of the detail within the spec itself. Standard IP camera, fixed lens, it's a little bit smaller than the conventional one. That, my friends, is about it. I'll go and walk out to the van now and walk around it so you can uh, see the sort of detail you'll come to expect. I say the van is around 20 to 25 metres away, so I'll have a little bit of a walk around so you can just sort of see some comparison there. I'll come back in and then we'll end the video. So give me two seconds. Hopefully no one attacks me while I'm out there. Oh my god, it's cold out there. As you can see, you probably saw me walking around. Absolutely no problem in this light level. And I say, even in light mode with the IR, you'll find that beneficial. I hope you find this video very, very good. The turret, this internal, will be exactly the same, so I don't need to make a separate video just for the turret. I had a quick thought last night, and I just wanted to add a little small clip of the daylight image, just so you could see what the performance was like in the daylight compared to nighttime. As you can see, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. Reasonably good image there across a wild, wide, wild, wide field of view. Can't even speak today. Um, four megapixel across all things. So obviously, like I said in yesterday's clip, Please don't expect miracles from the digital zoom, but it is good for general observation, as you will agree. Very wide coverage. I hope you find many, many uses from any questions. Please ask the team here at DVS or ourselves or through marketing. We hope you keep watching, listening, liking and sharing and stay tuned. Christmas is coming. We haven't got long to go and uh, we're nearly at that point where we're going to start giving away some giveaways. So stay tuned, keep liking, keep subscribing and we'll see you next week for another how-to video. Stay safe. Cheers, guys.